Warm weather cannot get here soon enough, but it also means insect season is upon us. They can be more than annoying. Some bites can lead to serious illness. Tonight, it's a bug bite warning. As spring officially settles in, so do the annoying, biting, and sometimes even dangerous bugs and insects. Dreading just the, I don't know, itching, biting. It's supposed to be really bad this season. I, I guess I'm not sweet enough. I don't get a ton <laughs> of bug bites. Sweet or not, everyone is susceptible. As people want to go out immediately after such a long winter, they're already coming in with bug bites. I got one this morning. Probably a mosquito bite. Dr. Kavita Marawala is a dermatologist. She warns that even simply scratching a mosquito bite can lead to bigger problems. We have a lot of bacteria underneath our nails, so you don't want to get your mosquito bites or bug bites that are seemingly harmless, then become infected. Mosquitoes the world over have been known to carry disease, and although it's rare in this area, mosquitoes can transmit West Nile virus. Even more rare is the transmission of eastern equine encephalitis. We're more likely to see problems from ticks. They can cause uncomfortable bites, and the small deer tick may also carry Lyme disease. So anytime you think you have a tick bite, you want to monitor the area. The big telltale sign is the bullseye rash. Always make sure that you're checking each other, um, especially young children. Always check through their scalp because you can get ticks that just stay in the scalp and you might not notice that red bullseye. Other seasonal insect annoyances, fleas carried by furry pets can also leave small red itchy bites. Also leaving a mark these days, chiggers. I had a number of patients who came in having gone out to the east end of Long Island in the tall grasses, um, coming in with very, very itchy red bumps all over their lower legs. To help repel most bugs and insects, doctors recommend products that contain 20% DEET. Scratching them is almost, imp uh, you know, it's impossible to resist because they are so itchy. So making sure you have an antibiotic ointment and some good steroid cream is really key. And for young children, doctors recommend that you put the spray into your hands and then rub it onto them. Repellent is not recommended for children under one year old.